Welcome or welcome back to another episode of Way Too Wifey. I'm your host, Respectfully Gabby, and in this podcast, we talk all things dating and relationships in this modern day. And if you are new here, hi, I'm Gabby. I'm an online dating coach where I help you transform your confidence to live your best lives inside and outside of relationships. I can guarantee you guys it all starts from within. And if you don't feel right from within, you are going to attract chaos in your love life. Okay. So if you've ever thought about coaching, just curious about it, hit the stand link in my bio. I have a discovery call that you can book, ask all the questions that you want, do an eight week transformation program. I also have one off sessions. So if you'd rather just do a 30 minute session to an hour session, those are available as well. But if you guys have been listening to this podcast and you have not hit that subscribe button and you have not left a rating, please take the time out right now, hit that subscribe button, turn on your bell notification so you'll never miss another episode. And then also, if you could please leave that five-star rating, it does help get the word out there and it helps this podcast grow. So please, please, please share this episode with your friends. You are going to love this episode. Obviously seen by the title, we are talking today about love bombing. I actually went back and rewatched my past episode where I was love bombed and it's so fucking weird because history, my friends, loves to repeat itself. That was actually a pretty good episode if I do say so myself. So if you're curious about um, like what love bombing is, I get a little bit more in depth in that episode, but we're going to talk about why people love bomb in this episode. And there are three kinds of people that love bomb not all of them are bad people so i want to get into this the first time this really kind of happened to me i it was earlier this year or i guess it was literally this time same time last year it happened and i was like what the fuck was that this was the first time where i was like okay yeah that was definitely a big big love bomb situation And I talk a little bit more about it on that episode, so I'm not going to get too much into it. But towards the end of this year, I realized that it happened again, you guys. I'm not going to lie. The way that I was thinking about it, there are three kinds of people that tend to love bomb. And not all of them are bad people. And I think that that's where we get into this mindset of like, oh, they love bomb me. Fuck them. They're a bad person. They're a fuck boy. And then we get this idea in our heads like that person sold me the world and then didn't deliver they're a terrible person I can't believe they would do this to me and I really maybe it's a flaw of mine but I really try to see the best in people I know whether or not I could just read people like a fucking book I know when it's coming from a good place and when it's coming from an insecure place or when it's coming from a hopeless romantic place there are three different kinds of love bombers and we're going to get into it not all of them are bad people not not that i'm trying to paint the the love bomber as a good person because they might not be but it really just depends on the intent behind it if someone is love bombing you and they just genuinely don't know what they want but they're selling you the world and in their heads they could be believing everything that they're saying it's like where do you draw the line how do you tell what kind of person this is and regardless what it comes down to my friends is that it's really all about actions matching words this person respecting your boundaries having this happen over a consistent long period of time so i recently posted a tiktok video about love bombing and a lot of people were like um i don't fully agree with this you didn't you didn't hear me out because i literally said in this video if this person's showing up over a consistent period of time and they're continuously telling you validating their feelings and then you end up married or you end up in a long-term relationship with this person who were giving a lot of love in the very beginning and it might have felt overwhelming for you but that person had pure intentions they knew what they wanted they pursued it they let you know what they wanted up front that is amazing if that happens to you this is type number one by the way the hopeless romantic if this person is just expressing so much love and really truly does see a future with you isn't necessarily like love bombing because I I feel like love bombing has like a a negative like oh well they gave me all of this and then they took it all back right that person is expressing to you how they're feeling what they want and sure if their if their actions back it up over a long consistent period of time then yeah why would you not believe them right because they have proven to you that they are about that life that they are a man of their word which we love okay it is completely okay here's where it's not okay 
is when the guy is selling you this huge dream. I want to have kids with you. I want you to move in. I want to marry you. I can't wait to go on this crazy vacation with you. Selling you like the lifestyle that you want. Selling you on themselves. And then all of a sudden, you're like, oh my God, I think everything's going great. You're telling your friends about them. You're telling your family about them. And all of a sudden, there's a flip. And you can feel a change in energy. And you're like, what's going on right now? You were you were so hot and heavy in the beginning and now you're taking it all back like that didn't just happen. So where are you at? And then they can ghost you. They can say like, I'm no longer into this. And then they drop off and you're like, what the fuck just happened? There's two guys of that, that nature, right? That are going to love bomb you. One has good intentions. One does not have good intentions. The one that does not have good intentions, we're gonna start off with the narcissist the person that is going to love bomb you for validation it is coming from a place of insecurity a place where he has to feel like he won you over and then once he won you over he's out this is the type of person that wants to move as quickly as possible the littlest amount of effort right like the person that is telling you they're gonna do all these things but then forgets to show up for you they're selling you on this dream they're making themselves out to be this like really wealthy person but then like they can't pay for the bill or like weird vibe read the room this person is looking for validation from you it is coming from an insecure place they need to feel validated that someone likes them because they don't like themselves this person is coming from a malintent like they don't have any feelings for you at all it's coming from a place where they just want you to like them it's coming from an egoic place bulldozing over your boundaries and want to move as quickly as possible so it makes you feel like you are closer than you actually are with this person and you start to trust them you're like oh my god wait if their feelings crazy connection i must I must feel like I have to feel the same way. So you start investing yourself. And then the moment that you start investing yourself, this person walks away. It wasn't because that person was looking to build with you. That person was looking for a feeling. And once they got that feeling, once they felt like you, they won you over, then they move on to their next prey. This person is a narcissist. I don't like to say that word as much because I don't think that as many people are narcissists as we think. And I don't think that just narcissists love bomb, but I do think that this in particular person who is doing it just so you can like them and you can fall for them just so they can feel a little bit of feeling inside of validation. It's coming from a place of just being an insecure man who wants someone to like them. Man or woman, women can do this too, but if it's coming from an insecure place where they don't actually have intentions of building with you, they really just have intentions of making you feel, fall for them because it's like this fun little game for them that's a narcissist guys I don't think I've ever really gone for this person because I really truly think that I can outsmart a narcissist because I've never dated or like been interested in narcissistic men like that's never been my thing I've never really attracted that kind of person if I see the red flags I'm like this is kind of like an ick because I can see the insecurity in that man a weak man to me I would never be able to look up to. Personally, it's, I, it's, I've never really truly experienced a, nar a narcissist. I've experienced the opposite kind of man where he has good intentions, he's just emotionally immature, okay? And this person does have pure intentions, but the thing about this person, he hasn't fully like learned himself and what he wants. He's still in his little boy mind frame. Maybe he does want a relationship, right? And maybe he does really have pure intentions for you. But if he's moving so quickly, that flame is going to typically, more often than not, burn out quicker than it started. I, I truly, truly feel like a, a guy who's stable and like mentally well isn't going to promise you the world and then under deliver. People that promise the world always under deliver. If you're in the beginning phases of dating and he's telling you like, I can't wait to marry you, I love you, I want to have your kids, like I can't wait to like have Bobby and Susie, making you paint the picture of what your future is going to look like together when you don't even feel like there yet. This type of person typically comes from an unstable or abusive relationship or parental kind of like figure. If you look back, I always, when these types of situations happen, I have nothing but love for the person that 
did this to me recently and also in the very beginning of the year because I know that they have pure intentions. I just don't think that they were far along in their own healing journey and also like knowing what it is exactly that they want. Yes, I let this happen very quickly. I could have slowed down the pace, but I allowed it to happen. So it's also partially my fault as well. These types of people, I always look back of like, where do they come from? What, what types of relationships were they in? And it always, 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 it's like a parental dynamic of a missing parent. Where this stems from is an emotionally or physically absent parent. They feel all this excitement, it feels really good, and then the fear of abandonment kicks in, which I'm probably going to make a full episode of um, the fear of abandonment. I went through this entire phase of my life where my fear of abandonment kicked into every single one of my relationships and I pushed people away. Fully had pure intentions, it just didn't work out because I pushed people away. And I really think that this this is where this is coming from because if they're coming from an abusive or unstable past relationship or parenting, the they're going to feel like the next person that comes along has to be their person. They have to be the one. So what they end up doing is they fast track the relationship, they get to know all of the things out of the way so they can tell right then and there if this person is their person. But the problem with that is that if you're moving way too quickly, you're missing the whole foundation of the relationship. You're not being present. You're not fully getting to know that person because it's like, okay, let's quickly move through all these boxes and see if see if we can continue this like really high level, intense connection. And when the connection isn't as intense after weeks or months, it feels like the relationship died out and it feels like, okay, well, I'm not feeling the same way that I felt instead of slowly working your way up to that and actually have like substance of why you feel that way for this person once that spark once that flame burns out it's like i think i'm good here you know like i think that i can move on i'm bored now i'm ready for the next thing if the relationship isn't on steady ground like steady stable ground it is going to crumble your the relationship's gonna fail and you're gonna feel like that was like so hot and heavy and intense and I felt like really good about them and then all of a sudden they just left but I know that they have feelings for me but I'm just very confused about what is going on right now. I think also in these cases you want this person to fit the mold of what you want so you have this idea of what they should be in your head and when that person doesn't show up exactly how you painted them in your head inevitably right because no one's going to be exactly how you paint them out in your head when that happens and that person unfolds like who they are to you and exposes themselves it's like okay well now i'm no longer interested because i thought you were something that you're not and that person can be a perfect fit for you that person can be everything that you've ever asked for but, but because you had this idea in your head that they had to do a certain thing a specific way, they had to act exactly the way that you wanted to in specific situations, life is not like that. And the more that you think that like your person is going to fit every single box that you want them to, the longer that you're going to stay single. I'm not telling you to settle, but I do think that that you should narrow down what's actually important versus some things that maybe don't matter as much or things that you can overlook and really focus on what it actually is that you want from the relationship because I think a lot of times these types of people the emotionally immature person who is love bombing you doesn't fully know what what it is that they're looking for I feel like they paint th this idea of, of you in their heads and then once you don't really amount to that person that they the idea of which they had in their heads since you don't fit the mold of what I wanted you to be then I'm gonna move on to the next thing and really 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 what it comes down to is out of these three people the hopeless romantic the emotional manipulator the narcissist ie or the emotionally immature person. Two of them have good intentions. The hopeless romantic, obviously, and the emotionally immature person. They have good intentions. They want good things. But the emotionally immature person is going to fall short every single time. They're going to continue. And I know because I have been in this situation where I've been emotionally immature in the past. 
and continue to attract really relationships if I didn't have this crazy connection with that person in the very beginning then I would get bored instead of building a foundation with someone working your way up to an actual relationship and seeing how that plays out getting to know them slowly and day by day instead of like we have to know everything about about each other right now in the first two weeks and then after the two weeks is over you're like what I don't I don't I can't I'm so bored I don't want anything to do with this person anymore and it's really because you're emotionally immature like and I, I was calling I'm calling myself out because I've been in tons of those situations where I'm like if if I don't feel like a crazy spark in the beginning then it can't be my person but now that I'm I'm like I've matured much more I'm like daddy that's not what a real relationship like yes you might feel a crazy like crazy connection in the beginning and that could be your person but taking it slow and really like getting to know someone instead of rushing to get through all of the pieces I really can't be mad at, at that that person because I know I know that it came from a good place right that emotionally immature person is going to stay single until they realize what it actually is that they're looking for in a relationship and I can guarantee you it's that last but not least the emotional manipulator you're gonna feel like you have been swept off your feet with that one and then feel like fucking shit afterwards once they leave you and move on to the next or ghost you or whatever the case is just know that it is coming from a wildly insecure place that person is so sad and seeking so much validation from people that you should feel bad for them okay I'm not trying to paint them out to be like a bad person or a good person or whatever they just haven't healed and some people just are like that they're never gonna change and that's who they are but accepting situation for what it is if they can't follow it up with actions over a long period of time and proving to you that they actually mean those things then it's probably not gonna work right if they're telling you I've, uh, these crazy accusations in the beginning of I want to get married I want to have your kids blah 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 take that information in one ear out the other because regardless if this person really 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 does mean these things it doesn't it doesn't matter because you my friends are going to take it slow you're gonna get to know them you're gonna set the pace and that's how we're going to be moving forward you can't believe anything that anyone says in the very beginning if their actions aren't matching up over a long period of time don't get too attached to someone in the beginning to where you're like okay like i'm this person said that they're going to marry me so that now i have this idea in my head and i've already planned out our wedding in our head i've already named our kids i've already done all the things stop with all that if someone is telling you in the very beginning that they are so in love and blah 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 take what they're saying with a grain of salt could be real about it they could not be real about it but what you will find out is over time if you really really watch them and their actions you are going to get your answers you're going to feel so much better that you slowed the pace down and actually allowed yourself to see the situation for what it is because the moment that you attach yourself you're going to get yourself hurt in any of these situations the moment that you attach to that idea of this is the one this is my person and then they leave you are going to get yourself hurt and if they end up staying then amazing but you're gonna be really happy that you didn't attach yourself in the very beginning what you got to understand is that if he's saying all of these things and he doesn't even really know you you can't actually trust what's coming out of his mouth okay so listen if you want but also throw throw the idea out the window if it happens it's gonna happen if it doesn't happen you didn't get attached and you'll be fine anyway and you'll find someone who actually means the words that are coming out of their mouth but that is it for this week's episode I really hope that you enjoyed I really took a lot of time to think about these things so <laughs> if you could please leave that five star rating hit that subscribe button and turn on your bell notifications so you'll never miss another episode and I will see you all next Tuesday